record. Hey Sarah, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Um, how was uh, being part of the cast for the dress makeup? Um, oh, it was pretty amazing uh, to be <laughs> to be able to be uh, on set with those amazing people, but then also yeah. to hang or hang out in the green room mm -hmm. when you weren't on set. It was um, yeah, it was pretty great. I mean, it's Kate Winslet and Judy yeah. Davis and and Hugo Weaving getting to, to watch them work was, was a bit of a gift. Awesome. Um, I especially liked your character, Trudy. She was freaking hilarious. Um, yeah, she was like a misfit at first in the movie and then she yeah. turned into like a blossoming flower towards um, the movie as well. What was it like um, being her character and stuff compared to your other roles that you've done so far in your career? Well, I really liked the transformation that she goes through, definitely mm -hmm. from the ugly duckling into the, into the swan. Mm -hmm. And I guess, I, you know, it's different because of the the dresses that I get to wear, and I haven't kind of I haven't done that kind of fifties couture as a role before, or been in a period film in that yeah. respect. But I suppose it's similar in some ways, in in that the character goes through quite a dramatic transformation. Mm -hmm. and that's what I always like about a character. Yeah. yeah, she was sort of like the ugly duckling as well, and um, it it was funny to see her um, transform towards the movie as well. Um, it, during your um, career and stuff, do, do you like doing a mixture of like serious and comedic roles or do you um, prefer one or the other? Uh, I certainly don't prefer one or the other, <laughs> but I, I like doing comedy and I haven't had a chance <laughs> to do a huge amount of comedy. Yeah. But, um, but I, yeah, I, you know, if, the, if a dramatic role has comedy in it, then that's, <laughs> that's the best. But I, you know, this, this film, what I find fascinating about it is it's able to <laughs> toe that line between being really funny at one yeah. point and then making you cry at the <laughs> next and and try to bridge those those genres. Yeah, for sure. And especially, um, like you said, the movie was based in the 1950s as well. Did you have any sort of like character inspirations to be Trudy in, 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 in that regard? Um, certainly once she transforms into <laughs> into this one, yeah. I, you know, you're looking at uh, Old, those old sketches and the, you know mm. classic Vogue magazines where they've they've got that particular physicality and style, yeah. and um, and Marion was able to create costumes that allowed yeah. me to do those kinds of positions and, and stylings and and also teach me how to do them as well. <laughs> yeah, the dresses were so nice as well, um, especially now like. Um, now you see fashion nowadays and yeah. it's so different from like compared to what, what it was back then in the 1950s. Um, what did you think overall about like the set design and the costume design of the, of the movie? Oh, I loved it. <laughs> it's so lush. Yeah. It's really, um, you know, the, all the fabrics and all the colours and, and it works so well against, um, you know, that outback kind of yeah. wheat belt look. <laughs> And that's the part of that was R Jocelyn is that, that's part of why Jocelyn really wanted to do the film, mm -hmm. is that that direct kind of juxtaposi juxtaposition. But Don McAlpine was able to really um, bring out those colours and, and use the camera to to make sure that the dresses were the main event a lot of the time. Was there a particular challenge of some sort that you went through um, when you were making the film and stuff? Because obviously um, it's something like different th that you've done so far in your career. Um, uh, yes, but only so far as being, uh, you know, shy to step on stage with Kate and Judy over the first day of rehearsals <laughs> and then for the first day of shooting. Yeah. Um, and getting used to, I've not had to wear corsets all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, I went to drama school and we had to do, you know, there's like a term where you just, everyone's wearing a corset for some reason. Mm -hmm. Um, but, <laughs> but, but for a full extended shoot and being out in the, not the full outback, but mm -hmm. certainly not the desert, but it was very <laughs> hot and there were lots of flies. Yeah, especially um, for on set and it's a very humid weather, it's sort of like hard to like adapt to that sort yeah. of environment as well. Um, I guess it was interesting because you guys were like wearing like dresses and stuff and, and obviously the heat like wave took over as well. Um, what would you say would be like the most fun that you've had um, on the set as well? Uh, certainly the day I think I get to wear this the, the black dress <laughs> with the the cape that, I yeah. think that was my favorite day because that was definitely a day that was all about the dresses uh, <laughs> we were very much second fiddle to them and so it was you know a bunch of ladies parading around being silly really 
and that you know I've got wings that day so I it was flapping a lot. <laughs> I think it's quite rewarding in a sense as well because um, you've graduated from like film school as well and um, to see you have like those baby steps as well in your career like doing like a mixture of short films as well as some other films that you've done um, previously what would you say has been the biggest learning curve for you as an actress in general? Um, I guess learning the difference between all the different uh, not genres but styles of mm -hmm. film you, like with short film and, yeah. and the feature and and TV and episodic TV and how they work differently in terms of the crews and at what speed and at what, um, you know, some some films have really big budgets and they sometimes suffer because of that because mm -hmm. there's too much money and there's uh, not enough decisions being made. Yeah. Um, and then some films have you know very little money and they can make exactly. amazing films because they're everyone's just mucking in and trying to get it done. Yeah. Um, or it could fall flat. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest learning curve is, is about um, learning how to work as a team mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the value of that. And considering how, um, you know, how tough the film industry is, especially in Australia and stuff, what's your advice to like aspiring um, actresses um, like yourself as well? Um, I don't know, it's a, it's a tricky kind of question because mm -hmm. I feel like, uh, well, maybe that's what it is. It's it's about finding your own. It's a journey, and it's your own path, mm -hmm. and you know, finding out who you are and who you want to be as a person as well as an actress, yeah. um, and working out why you might want to do the job because it yeah. sometimes sucks, yeah. <laughs> because it's hard, and it's not always, you know, fancy clothes and and roses. Um, yeah, maybe that's what it is. Just working out why you want to do it. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time, Sarah. It was no nice talking to you. You do. Yeah. Thank you.